Hello and welcome. Today I'm on the Huron compound, checking out the uh, the Goliath track. Um, I've done a few bit of laps on this on a 450 and 250, but I figured it'd be kind of fun to see uh, how a 125 handles this track because it's very fast, very flowy, wide open with massive jumps. So I'm probably gonna do like three laps on the 125 and then three laps on a 450, just to kind of show off the. Uh, different ends of the spectrum I guess when it comes to power also I'm trying out a different reshade setting so let me know if it uh, looks better or worse or whatnot so far I seem to like it but haven't tried it out in a video or on a really any other different track so all right I'm glad we caught that inside I like to catch that inside there this tabletop might be a bit of a stretch oh we just barely cleared that okay came up a little short there that's all right though definitely no way we're gonna clear the uh, the full jump but we can still send it into these doubles and still double our way through which is pretty sick Ooh, slow down all right third to seem to work all right there at least if I use the clutch I've been trying to use more of the clutch in this game because uh, I've been playing a bunch of MXers ATV All Out and the clutch is very, very important in that game. So I kind of got in the habit of using the clutch. So I'm going to try to utilize it here and hopefully it helps out. That was a sick wheelie across the uh, top of those like rollers or whatever. That was dope. All right. I'm going to take the outside here. Hopefully we can carry enough speed to still kind of double up this. Just barely. So you can throw a little scrub off that. Okay, try to catch this inside rut here. Ooh, almost looped out there. That's all right though. We can still save it. All right, we'll see what this lap is. All right, 214. That's pretty good. So I guess we'll use that as a, our baseline. And that was a pretty decent lap, so. Won't be uh, a huge deal if we make t mistakes on the uh, the last two. Might try to throw some like big whips or something. All right. That jump right there is just super fun to get floaty on. I really like that jump. Okay, we'll see if we can uh, clear this and catch the inside again. Little sketchy, but we still made it. Uh, just barely clipping that. Oh, we went a little far. That's all right, though. Judging your speed coming up that is pretty difficult just because of the uh, the lack of power. We'll still be able to double our way through this section though. Alright, we hit that, uh, that inside pretty well. A little sketchy in the face though. Man, it is just like full throttle pretty much everywhere. Wonder if we can do that like sick wheelie we did the first lap. Nah, not quite. And we fell out of the rut, but that's all right. As long as we're able to get enough speed to clear this double again. There we go. Cleared it better that time. I guess we could also look at the uh, ideal lap time for both bikes after all three laps give us like a better maybe like average not necessarily average but uh what it's capable of I guess what I'm capable of all right so this is the last lap we'll see if we can uh put down a, another clean lap I think staying in fourth probably this entire way is the way to go maybe fifth up here Yeah, I really 
really like this jump. Such a nice little floater. And we just barely, barely clear that double. It seems like Hearn kind of almost designed this track to be doable with a 125. Even if you're not necessarily hitting all the big lines and everything, you're still able to complete a lap, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we cleared that pretty well. Let's see. Can we manage our speed just a little better? Ah, uh, not quite. Man, we were a second up, though. That's all right. A 214 is not too bad, and that was a fairly clean lap. Again, we definitely could have shaved some time off of that, but oh well. Just trying to lean back to get the uh, power to the ground. All right. Hopefully we don't fall out of the rut. There we go. There we go, that time we stayed in the rut. So yeah, I guess we'll use the uh, ideal lap time to kind of compare. Because there's definitely some parts that were a lot cleaner on each uh, each lap there, so. And even with that, clash, that crash, we're still only like a second down. So this was a pretty decent lap if we wouldn't have gone down there. Alright, so we'll finish it out. We'll go ahead and check the ideal lap time. So we'll return to the pit. So yeah, 2.12 is the potential. Um, which is definitely a lot faster than that 2.14 we put down, but definitely doable, which is pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the 4.50. We're gonna go the Suzuki, and uh, I'll meet you guys in just a second. All right, so we've got the uh, Suzuki 4.50 loaded up. We'll go ahead and do another three laps here. I gotta make sure to uh, be a lot more careful on my throttle control so we don't lose the rear end everywhere. It's kind of hard to uh, swap back and forth, especially with the difference in power for sure. All right, but yeah, this track is like one of the per most perfect like 450 tracks. I think I've ridden just because of how big the jumps are and everything. Already kind of messed up a little bit, but we'll go ahead and clean that up hopefully the next lap. As you can see, no problem clearing that double there. Right. Nice, we made that inside again. No issue clearing the table. Actually, we really over jumped that. And then no issue clearing the uh, the massive like triple or quad, whatever you want to call it. That got really, really sketchy. We ended up going down. That's all right, though. We can definitely clean it up on the uh, next couple of laps. All right. Definitely not nearly as fast when you uh, can't double your way through. No issue clearing that little, like, step-up table. Let's do a little scrub there. We could probably scrub this as well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we almost lost the rear, just like I was talking about. And I almost went off track, too. All right, now here I definitely know we can uh, take the inside and carry enough speed if I get it just right. There we go. A little scrub off of that. All right, so there it was. Giant mistake in this lap, but we'll see what the lap time is. All right, so already about our ideal lap time on a 125, which definitely makes sense, but let's see if we can uh, clean that up. That was not a great way to start it, but at least we're still kind of ahead of our last lap already. I'll shift down into second. There we go. Actually caught the inside there. Try to not jump quite as far. You know, 
probably scrub that a little bit. There we go. Shift down in a second. Getting a little bit of a bounce there, but that's alright. We'll still catch the inside. And honestly, get that section a lot cleaner. Just trying to not over jump the table quite as much, even though we still went for it. Right, we're going to come up short. Oh, man. We just came up just a hair short there. Probably should have dipped the front a lot more, but oh well, that's all right. We'll at least be able to double our way through this section, hopefully. There we go. Probably should have went down a second there, but it ended up working out. Do a bigger scrub there. Another big scrub there. All right, let's try to not lose the rear like we did the first lap. There we go. Just wheeling our way through the rollers there. So much power. Alright. We'll take the inside again. Alright. Perfect. S little scrub off of that, sort of. Now we missed the inside rut, but that's alright. Already two seconds up. So it's quite a bit faster. We still have one more mistake we need to clean up, though. All right. Trying to not fall out of this rut this time. There we go. That kind of started to get a little sketchy there, but we still made the inside, so it's all good. Again, try to not like horrendously over jump this because it's easy to do. Probably could have thrown a scrub there, but focused on getting a decent lap in. Alright, caught the inside again. Not the cleanest, but that's alright. Okay, still way over jumping that, but that's alright. Yeah, that was better. We still kind of came up a little short, but at least we didn't go down. Definitely could have hit that corner a lot faster, but that's all right. I'm gonna shift down in a second here. Not the cleanest inside, but pretty decent. Not too bad. There we go. Big scrub. I think we're losing a smidge of time, but at least we haven't gone down yet. All right. Let's just finish it out clean. This is definitely a lot faster of a lap since we didn't make a huge mistake. All right. 204. So yeah, definitely quite a bit faster with the 450, but obviously that makes sense. I really wonder how much time you gain just from uh, clearing that one massive jump. But yeah, definitely a fun little comparison to do. I'm, I think it's really cool that her and I'm assuming took the time to make sure this track kind of works with uh, multiple different types of bikes. Um, because I feel like the way some of the stuff's laid out is just like perfect for a 125 to just barely clear some of the stuff. So yeah, that's really neat. But if you enjoyed the video, definitely uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. That'd be appreciated. And if you have other ideas as far as tracks and comparisons, uh, let me know and I'll try to get to them. Because uh, I thought it was a fun little idea. But hope you enjoyed. And until the next one.